Welcome back, LHS. I'm Emma. And I'm JD. Today is Friday, September 15th, and we have Sports Information Club updates and more. This is your Blue Devil News. Prices for the yearbooks have gone up to 75 You can order online at yearbookforever.com or in person at the bank. The first edition of the Devil's Digest is out, so if interest is reading, Miss Althup has emailed it. Senior formals have been moved to October 16th. Now with sports. Our football team will play against Green Hill at home. The theme in Hawaiian, so come out and support your Blue Devils. Soccer plays Cookville on Tuesday at home. Cross Country ran at Cedars 11 last night. We'll have those results next week. And the next meet is at Saturday at Bennett Invitational in Cookville. CTE teachers, today is the last day to submit equipment requests. Teachers who have third block planning, the cosmetology students will be forming facials for the student salon practice. These facials are tested over classification of skin type, basic massage, mutilation, electroplasticity, light therapy. If interested, contact this right. Teachers, changes have been made to the grade level PLC schedule. Check the email Ms. Crutcher sent out on Tuesday. Today's weather has a high of 83 degrees and a low of 61 degrees. There is no chance of rain today. This weekend is looking at a 50 chan- 50% chance of rain on Saturday with a partly cloudy skies on Sunday. Highs will be in the upper 70s and lows around 60. For tonight's game, we will have clear skies with temperatures in the low 70s. Now to JD with sports. The ASVET is a multi-attitude test that benefits the career planning, as well as the predicting the academic occupation success in the military. If you're interested, sign-ups will be next Thursday, September 21st, in the Counseling Center. This is all the updates we have for you today. I'm JD. And I'm Emma. This has been the news to you. From the white and blue. Oh, hey guys, come on in. Welcome to my classroom. I'm Miss Robertson. Um, some things that students really like about my classroom is I always have lots of interesting things like I've got Mjolnir's hammer over here with my awesome Viking helmet. You may have seen me at, you know, our fire drills. I always wear my helmet so my students don't get lost and I've never lost a student yet, so it works pretty well. I also have these really weird cat paws that were gifts from students. People really seem to like them. Um, over here... I get a lot of questions about some of my stranger (laughs) features in my class. That pig was a gift from a student. Um, This strange picture was because I lost a bet with a student. I told them that there was no way they could get a perfect score on an essay. And if they did, they could hang that up in my classroom. And here it is, because they somehow managed to get a perfect score on an essay, which is really hard to do for my class. This is my cat. She is a lady. Anyone who's been in my class knows that. Um, I've got some really great posters from some of my favorite authors. Got some really great books. Anyone is welcome to come borrow any of my books at any time. Um, I really love this little corner over here in my classroom. This is the tree Yggdrasil from Norse mythology. So this is something that my students have built over the years and it represents all nine realms of Norse mythology including Muspelheim, the land of the fire giants. That's why it's so bright. So you can actually see my room when you drive into school. Um, Another fun fact about this tree is that it's actually made, the branches are made from um, old students failures. So I took all of their papers where they got F's and I used them to make my tree. So that's really kind of cool. Um, I've got some really fun posters my students really enjoy looking at. I've got this really cool mythology poster where they did caricatures of famous people as um, different mythological figures. Got my really cool makeup board. Um, And oh yeah, can't forget Fred. He's our spider friend who protects my stack of books. So. Yeah. Oh, also, this is a new feature. My ceiling, I have these really cool um, light covers, and uh, they have really changed the atmosphere of my classroom. It's very calm in here without being sleepy, so I really like that. Um, But yeah, that's my room. Thanks for coming by and checking it out, and uh, make sure you check out all my really cool... 
Valentine's Day cards that my mythology students made. They're from one god to another, and some of them are really funny. And there might even be one made by a BDN student. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Thanks for coming, guys. See you later. PSA, yes, that is a salt rock. Yes, it is salty. No, you don't have to lick it. I'm going to Hi, I'm Mark. This is Top 5. Back here with? Miss Rhodes. Okay, so what are your top five favorite sports? Swimming, football, baseball, soccer, and I forgot the fifth one. I know I just said it. We'll say volleyball. Basketball is not on a list. That is wild. That is wild. I'm back here with? Miss Lap. Okay, so what are your top five favorite sports? Okay, in no particular order? No, no, no particular order, yeah. Okay, we're going to go soccer. Okay. Hockey. Okay. B basketball. Okay. Curling. What's that? Curling is a winter sport where you slide a rock oh, on the ground. The oh. <laughs> it's the best sport. Okay. And then just for, even though people don't think it's a sport, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with dance, competitive dance. I think that's a sport. That's a sport. I agree. That's a sport. I thought it's a sport, so I'm going to go with that yeah. one. Hey, I'm Amar. I'm here with? Uh, Charlie May. Okay, Charlie May, what is your top five favorite sports? Um, volleyball, football, beach volleyball, basketball, and baseball. That's valid, but... Basketball is a little farther down. It's kind of disappointing. Okay, so I'm back here with Nick, Jacob. Okay, so what are y'all top five favorite sports? Hockey, football, M the NBA, uh, golf, and I guess volleyball. Uh, tennis, soccer, basketball, football, and uh, baseball. Okay, that's valid. All right, so I'm back here with Layla, Cade. What are y'all top five favorite sports? Soccer, track, football, basketball, and volleyball. Okay, okay. Mine are baseball, football, basketball, volleyball, golf. Y'all basketball kind of low. I ain't going to cap. No, it's it's just yes, it is. Basketball? Basketball's basketball is just not a great sport. Real. Y'all so – Unpopular opinion. Hot take. Basketball is not fun to play and to watch. It's only fun to cheer for. Y'all weird. Okay, I'm back here with – Mr. Sheely. Okay, Mr. Sheely, what is your top five favorite sports? Top five favorite sports, I'm going to go with college football. Okay. I'm going to go with NFL, okay. which is still football. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to go with basketball, okay. baseball, okay. especially college baseball, okay. and golf. That's valid, very valid, very valid. Now, do you prefer football over basketball? Absolutely. It's the best sport. In the, it's the best sport ever. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Catching Up with Clubs, a section where we talk to some of the clubs around the school. In today's episode, we're talking with HOSA representative Miss Ward about some upcoming events with HOSA and some up and coming up and coming prosthesis company and some background information about uh, history of prosthesis. All right. Let's get into this. Hi, I'm Sarah Ward. I'm a registered nurse. I work here at Lebanon High School in the health science department. The current age today is we've come a long, long way. If you think about prosthetics years gone by, it was the peg legs. They were made out of wood. So they had no mobility at all. Um, one of the companies that we're looking at now has actually developed a hand that can move. The fingers actually move, so, and they feel which is something that we've never had before. Now, it's not a feeling like we feel now, but if they touch something, it vibrates to give them a sensation of feeling. So we went from a, a wooden hand that could do nothing other than take up space to something that can actually open and close and pick things up and feel. So we've come a long way. We, ha we still have a long way to go, but we've come a long way. The 70s, we went from wooden, oh, no, we're just talking hands. We're not even talking legs at this point. Uh, we went from just wooden hands to fill space to um, hooks. And the hooks could open and close, you know, and it could help pick up things. Uh, and that's kind of where we stayed for a really long time. This new technology and nanotechnology and the, the being able to make things smaller and smaller have really allowed us to try to mimic the hand movement at much greater detail than what we could do before. Um, Jose has joined with a company that says we help too. And later on this school year, we'll be selling socks, of all things. They're fun socks. Uh, what that does is for every 90 pairs of socks that we sell, we are 
donating a prosthetic leg to a third world country. Now, when we talk about prosthetics and how far they've come, they're still very expensive. Um, some of these prosthetics could run well up into the hundreds of thousands, the more technology they have. Um, third world countries, that's out of their reach. And if they have a person that doesn't have a leg, they can't walk, they can't go to school, they can't work. So this allows them to have that mobility, to be able to go to school, to be able to go back to work. Um, so it's a health, not only a, a health issue, but it's a mental health issue, giving them that ability. So look forward to that. It's going to be fun. They're great socks. I have them myself. I love them. They're really, they really are good socks. And uh, we'll be getting more information out to you soon.